The mission of the IIRP is to advance the education of professionals at the graduate level, to conduct research that will develop the growing field, and to secure the standing of restorative practices as a respected social science. By educating professionals in restorative practices at the IIRP Graduate School, we are empowering people to find their own solutions, resolve their own conflicts, and foster healthy relationships. And it's working, restoring community in a disconnected world. The fundamental premise of restorative practices is disarmingly simple. People are happier, more cooperative and productive, and more likely to make positive changes in their behavior when those in positions of authority do things with them rather than to them or for them. I always stress in my professional development and learning sessions that restorative practices is very much a leadership model. By that I mean it's really about the way we exercise our authority or influence. Leadership is accomplishing organizational objectives through the efforts of others. So doing things with people empowers them and allows them to develop the skills necessary to take responsibility for their work. Restorative Practices has helped me become more effective when working with families. Uh, especially in a counseling setting. I've learned ways to engage with families and empower them to become more involved in their own treatment. My practice has become a team effort with the families that I work with, uh, and that includes a mutual respect for one another that will ultimately help them restore relationships with each other. Once I started using restorative practices, things actually felt good. Conflicts became resolved in a fair and respectful way. And it turned out that the kids with the most behavior problems made the biggest change. I think that the IRP Graduate School uh, helps uh, juvenile justice professionals um, in a way that allows them to be really practical about what they're doing, but also adds some theory in the sense that um, it not only helps them work with the young people uh, that they see every day, but also those uh, victims and others who've been affected by uh, the harm that's been committed by uh, these young people in the juvenile justice system. Restorative Practices offers them a way to engage both of those groups so that they gain a voice in the harm that's been committed. The use of Restorative Practices in my classes enables my students to have positive learning experiences every day. IRP classes provided the tools needed for an educator to nourish, train, and prepare students to be better future citizens. I decided to take the online portion of the course because it is a very manageable way to earn graduate credit um, in an area that will directly affect how I can do my job um, and it is very easy to manage the online work. The word international in our title is not a bragging point. This designation has been earned through decades of restorative training by our practitioners in more than 55 countries. The IIRP's international conferences bring together hundreds of professionals in criminology, education, social services, and management. Though our network extends around the world, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania remains the IIRP's international and intellectual hub. We invite folks to come here to study and then go back to their communities and countries, equipped with the knowledge to create programs that are culturally appropriate and sustainable within the framework of their own needs and resources. Everything we do at the IIRP involves restoring and building relationships between people to improve human behavior and civil society. To learn more about the IIRP, visit us on Main Street in Bethlehem or online at iirp.edu.